The Bible says that we should suffer not a wish to live. The beautiful thing is that we have the authority in the name of Jesus to trample upon all the powers of darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt us. The witches that might be operating subtly in your family and your neighborhood against you can be eradicated. Get up and walk in the victory you have in Christ. The Bible says in Job 22, 28, we will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto us and light will shine on your path. Harness the name of Jesus and the power that is embedded in your tongue to conquer the forces of darkness that are gathered around you. I implore you to join your faith with mine as I make these decrees over you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all witches that are subtly operating in your family and your life are destroyed. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree the mack of witchcraft that is at work in your life and family is blotted out. And in the name of Jesus, I decree that in any way you have invited the activities of witchcraft into your life unknowingly, you come out of them this instant i decree that no member of your family will be a tool to be used by witches and wizards in the name of jesus by the power in the blood of jesus i purge everything that is of the devil in your system i decree that you will be ahead of the forces of darkness that are chasing you unrelentedly by the power in the name of jesus i decree that the lord will wrap you in his love against all the powers of darkness that are gathered around you and against you. I pray that the mark of failure that is upon you or any member of your family is erased right now in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be an object of mockery to witches. The word of God says in Matthew 18, 18, whatever I bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever I lose on earth will be loose in heaven. In the name of Jesus, I bind all the associations of witches and wizards that are attacking you and your family. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every negative word that was said in the past and the present to you by the forces of darkness. I destroy all the types of machinery of the wicked ones that they are using to fight against you in the name of Jesus. I nullify all the agenda of witches and wizards in your immediate environment that do not want you to eat the good of the land. I pull you out of every pit the powers of darkness have kept you in the name of Jesus and I decree that you will hide under the secret place of the highest and you will not stray out of his shadow in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be untouchable for the evil ones because you carry upon you the mark of Christ. I cancel every curse that was activated by the powers of darkness against your life and families in the name of Jesus. I decree that you hide under the pavilion of the highest and you are safe from the attacks of witches and wizards in the name of Jesus. I erase the mark of failure, poverty and disappointment upon your life. By what Jesus did on the cross, which was blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that were against you, he put them out of the way and nailed them to the cross. I decree that irrespective of the kinds of marks that are upon you, they are erased and blotted out completely now by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the fire of the Holy Ghost burns completely all the things that are contrary to the will of God for you. I decree that the witches and wizards you saw yesterday, you shall see them no more. I pray for you that God is enthroned in your family and the powers of darkness that are operating subtly in your life and your family are dethroned. The enemy is highly organized and operates through the activities of witches, wizards and sorcerers. Witches and wizards are wicked and won't relent until they see your downfall. I've got news for you though. You are stronger than they are because you have been given the authority to trample upon them and they never hurt you.
Have this confidence knowing that you are more than a conqueror. The witches that might be in your neighborhood and your vicinity have no legal right to hurt you because you have been explicitly marked by God. The word of God says in Job 22:28, you will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto you and light will shine upon your ways. You are powerful because the word of God is in your mouth and you have been given a name that at the mention of it every knee must bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. As I will be making these decrees and prayers over you, Affirm them with faith believing that all of your expectations will be met. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the associations of witches and wizards fall for your sake this instant in Jesus' name. I decree that the plans of all witches and wizards around you are frustrated. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will trample upon the powers of witchcraft that are fighting against your family and career. And in the name of Jesus, I decree that your progress will not be impeded by the powers of witchcraft. I decree that you will not be disgraced and embarrassed by witches and wizards that have devised your hurt in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you mount up with wings as eagles far above oppression of witches, wizards, and sorcerers. You will enjoy flawless victories against the powers of witchcraft guarded against you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that the name of the Lord is exalted above the name of witchcraft in your life and your families. The word of God says in Psalm 35 verse 1 that God would fight against those that fight against you. I decree that the Lord would fight against the wicked ones masquerading as witches and wizards troubling you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that you and the members of your family would not fall into the traps. I decree that the machine of witchcraft that they are using to monitor your progress is destroyed in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Exodus 14, 14, that God would fight for you and you will hold your peace. I decree that the Lord will fight against the witches and wizards that are ganked up against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Second Thessalonians 1, 6 says that it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you. I therefore decree in the name of Jesus that the Lord would trouble the witches and wizards that are troubling you now. The Bible says in Psalm 37 10, for yet a little while and the wicked shall be no more. Indeed, you will look carefully for his place, but it shall be no more. I decree that the witches and wizards that are troubling you and your family will be seen no more by you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Psalm 18 45 says that the foreigners will fade away and come frightened from their hideouts. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the powers of witchcraft that are softly operating in your life and families fade away and they are exposed in the name of Jesus. I decree that all evil strangers will obey you as soon as they hear of you and they will submit to you. I decree that the Lord is avenging for you in all of the areas all your enemies in the name of Jesus by the power in the name of Jesus I decree that all the things that the wicked ones stole from you be returned to you in sevenfold I decree that the powers of darkness that are frustrating all of your efforts are scattered and by the power in the blood of Jesus I decree that the blood will exempt you from the powers of witchcraft in the name of Jesus You will know the plans of the wicked ones even before they put them into motion in the name of Jesus. The oil of gladness will make you above the attacks of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I decree that the anointing of God that you carry will destroy all the yokes of limitation and stagnation the witches and wizards have placed upon you in the name of Jesus. No spell of witches and wizards is supposed to affect you because you are immune to their spells. 
as much as they will try to hypnotize you with their spells, they cannot work against you because as a child of God, your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. The Bible also tells us that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and no divination against us shall stand. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. We'll be using this to win against the witches that have been sent to cast spell in you. Make this your confidence as we will be praying together in faith. Let's pray. I decree in the name of Jesus that all the spells of the witches against your life and your family will not stand. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you and all the members of your family are immune to the spell and divinations of the power of witchcraft. Micah 3, 7 says that those who practice witchcraft will be disgraced. And I pray that all the witches in your family are disgraced right now in the name of Jesus. Micah 5, verse 12 B says that God will put an end to all witchcraft. I therefore stand upon the word of God and I end the activities of witches in your life and your families in the name of Jesus. I decree that you would not be destroyed by the attacks of the witches in your neighborhood in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the plans of witches, wizards and sorcerers are nullified. I pray that you will not lose any of your loved ones to the spell and attacks of the forces of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will not be disgraced and frustrated by the spells of the witches and wizards around. And by the name of Jesus and in his power, I decree that you and your family will not be casualties to the attack of the forces of witchcraft. You will not experience a wasted labor by the attacks of the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the Almighty in the name of Jesus. I decree that the fire of the Lord will roast all the witches and wizards that are causing you problems and headache. I pray a curse on all the witches because it is written, suffer not a witch to live. I decree that any witch or wizard that is troubling you today is cursed. I decree that you will not be disturbed again because you bear upon yourself the mark of Christ in the name of Jesus. You are above the limitations that are placed upon you and your family by the powers of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I release the wrath of God against the wicked ones that are causing you sorrow. And in the name of the Lord, I declare that that name is exalted in your life and family family against the attacks of the forces of witchcraft in Jesus name. In Jesus name you will not become an entity in life due to the plots of the wicked ones. And I declare by the power in the blood of Jesus that the blood will exempt you from the attacks of the forces of darkness. I decree that all foundational problems that have besieged your life and family due to pronouncements of the powers of darkness against your family are repaired in the name of Jesus. You will not be caught unawares by the attacks of the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. You and all members of your family will not become a prey to the spell of the wicked ones. I send forth the angels of the Lord to go forth and begin to fight for you and your family against the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. The peace of the Lord will serenade you and your family amidst the plots and schemes of the wicked ones in Jesus name. And I decree that any strange ailments that the enemies might have afflicted any member of your family with disappears now in Jesus' name. 
Your life will not be cut short by the forces of witchcraft. You will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not be a tool of the forces of witchcraft. You will not live a messy and a mediocre life due to the attacks of the forces of witchcraft in Jesus' name. And I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the mighty one. You will keep on being covered under his mighty and able wings in Jesus' name. You are a seed of Abraham and because of this you should be immune to satanic spells that are pronounced against you to cause hindrance and delay in your life. The scripture says that no enchantment against Jacob shall stand. Therefore, no spell of the witches and wizards is supposed to affect you because you are immune to their spells. As much as they will try to hypnotize you with their spells, they cannot work against you because your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. The Bible also tells us that no weapon formed against you should prosper and no divination against you should stand. Only God has the final say in your life and not demonic spells or enchantments. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. We will be using this to win against the witches that have been sent to cast spell on you. Make this your confidence and you will be praying together in faith. I decree in the name of Jesus upon the life of anyone listening to me right now, that all the spells of the witches against your life and your family will not stand. By the power in the name of Jesus, I rebuke and lose you and your family from every form of curses, charms, fetishes, jings, all psychic powers, sorcery, bewitchment, enchantment, witchcraft, love potion and psychic spells that have been put upon you and your family. I decree that the blood of Jesus breaks and sets you free from every negative covenant you have unknowingly entered into. I stand on the integrity of God's word and I say that all bandages that have been placed upon you and your family due to satanic spells are destroyed in the name of Jesus. You and all the members of your family are immune to the spells of the forces of darkness and the fire of the Lord will roast all the priests of darkness that have connived together to cast spells upon you and your family in Jesus' name. There is safety and security for you and your family against satanic spells in Jesus' name. The Son of God has set you free, therefore you are free indeed. I pray right now that you are set free from all forms of demonic spells and enchantments that have limited your progress all in the past in the name of Jesus. I break all the yokes of bondages that have caused stagnation in your family and have prevented you from having a major breakthrough. By the power that's in the name of Jesus, I decree that you and all the members of your family are immune to any spell and divinations of the power of witchcraft. Micah 3, 7 says that those who practice witchcraft will be disgraced. I pray that all the witches in your family are disgraced right now in Jesus name. Micah 5 verse 12 b also says that God will put an end to all witchcraft. I therefore stand upon the word of God and I end at the activities of witches in your life and in your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be destroyed by the attacks of these witches in your neighborhood in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the plans of witches, wizards and sorcerers to place satanic spells and enchantment on you are nullified right now in Jesus name. And I pray you would not lose any of your loved ones to the spell and attacks of these forces of darkness in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would not be disgraced and frustrated in any way by the spells of witches and wizards to cause setbacks in your family. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you and your family will not be casualties to the attacks of the forces of witchcraft. You will not experience a wasted labor by the spells of the forces of darkness. The word of God says that your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. And because of that, I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the Almighty. 
in the name of Jesus I decree that the fire of the Lord will roast all the witches and wizards that are causing you problems and heartaches I place a curse on all the witches and wizards that are troubling you in the name of Jesus I decree that you will not be disturbed again because you bear upon yourself the mark of Jesus Christ you are above the limitations that are placed upon you and your family in the name of Jesus I release the wrath of God that will be kindled against the wicked ones that are causing you sorrow I decree and declare that the name of the Lord will be exalted in your life and your family against any attack and forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus you will not become an entity in life due to the plots of the wicked ones by the power and the blood of Jesus I pray that the blood of Jesus will exempt you from the attacks of the forces of darkness I decree that all foundational problems that have besieged your life and family due to pronouncements of the powers of darkness against your family are repaired you will not be caught unaware by the forces of darkness you and all members of your family will not become a prey to the spell of the wicked ones. I send forth the angel of the Lord to go forth and begin to fight for you and your family against the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. The peace of the Lord will serenade you and your family amidst the plus. I decree the strange ailments that the enemies might have afflicted on any member of your family disappears even now. Your life will not be cut short by the forces of witchcraft. You will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that you will not be a tool of the forces of witchcraft. You will not live a messy and mediocre life to the attacks of the forces of witchcraft. I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the Almighty and you will keep on being covered under his mighty and able wings in Jesus name. The very first thing I want you to know is that God is for you and no one can be against you. You are beyond being contended with by anyone. The powers of darkness dare not contend with you because you carry the mark of Christ. If God is for you, who possibly can stand against you? Even if the world is against you, God cannot be against you because you are his prized possession. Know this and have assurance and confidence. The Bible urges us in Luke 10, 19 to take authority in his name and trample against all powers of darkness that are contending with us. The Bible also says in Psalm 35, 1b, that God will fight against those that fight against you. The decision now lies with you. Do you want the Lord to fight against those that contend with you? Or do you want the Lord to pardon them? Now is the time to believe in these prayers I will say over you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord would fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I pray for you that the enemies who want to cause your downfall will be dumbfounded in the name of Jesus. I pray that the enemies will fall into the pits they have dug for you. I pray that the Lord would take hold of his shield and buckler and stand up for your help in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the enemies who have devised your hurt will be confounded. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the angel of the Lord chases those that are in constant contention with you. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 that God will go before you to fight for you against all your enemies to give you victory. I pray that throughout this year, God will fight all your enemies and will always make you victorious. I pray for you that you will not be against yourself. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the associations of witches and wizards to bring you shame are destroyed. I pray for you that all your enemies will begin to eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that you are untouchable for the enemies. The Lord will keep on showing up for you against your enemies. The word of the Lord will always be your weapon of defense and all offense against the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the enemies will never frustrate 
God's promises for you. You hide under the tabernacle of the highest. You find safety and solace in his name, in the name of Jesus. The love of God makes you perfect and secure. I decree that all your days will be filled with glad tidings. You will always sing songs of victory and joy in the name of Jesus. I pray that the resurrection power of God is at work in you much more. Therefore, all that the enemies have stolen from you will be restored to you in sevenfold. I decree that the name of the Lord would exempt you from the tragedies the enemies orchestrate daily. Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. He has been made a curse for you because curse is anyone that hangs on the tree. I pray for you that all generational curses that are alive in your lineage will never work against you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you are engulfed in the love grace and mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus and I decree that the ways of the wicked ones are slippery and their labor will be in futility against you. I decree that your faith in Jesus always coming to help you will never fizzle out in the name of Jesus. The veil has been turned. Therefore, I decree that you access the presence of God with confidence and no power of darkness will stand against you. I decree that as you journey in life, all obstacles on your path of fulfilling God-given purpose will become stepping stones for you to walk on, which will ease your journey to fulfill your purpose. You are above the attacks of the enemies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the good thoughts the Lord has for you will never be contended against by the wicked ones. The tongue is the smallest member of the body, yet it is still the most powerful. The Bible said in Proverbs 18, 21 that life and death are in the power of the tongue. That is the famous reason you must be watchful on how you speak negative words to yourself. And you must not permit anyone to speak negative words to you. In the spirit realm, there is nothing like I said so and so by mistake. Angels and demons are activated by the words of the mouth. You are to take authority in the name of Jesus by nullifying negative words you might have said to yourself and the ones the evil ones pronounced against you. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be lost in heaven. Now is the time to use that authority you have in the name of Jesus by joining your faith with mine to nullify all negative words the enemies have said to you that are producing negative results in your life. I decree over you that all the negative words that you might have made unknowingly to yourself are nullified in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the enchantments of the evil ones made against you shall not stand in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all curses that are working contrary to God's will for your life are nullified. I also decree that all negative words said to you that are making you not walk in your God-ordained destiny are cancelled. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I wash away all the wrong words people have said to you that have lowered your self-esteem in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will never lose your position by the wrong counsel of the enemies. In the name of Jesus, you will never leave the will of God for your life due to wrong counsel from people who do not mean well for you. The Bible says in Psalm 140 verse 8, The Lord will not grant the desires of the wicked and he will not promote their evil devices so that they will not be exalted. I decree over you that all the evil words the wicked ones have spoken against you will not stand because the Lord will not permit it. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be made useless in life by the enemy's evil pronouncements against you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the negative words people have said to you in the past that have kept you in a circle 
are renewed. In the name of Jesus, walk in the will of God for your life. I decree that only God's counsel for you will stand. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not enter wrong agreements with people unknowingly through the words of your mouth. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you would never become an object of ridicule to the enemies. I pray for you that divination and incantation made against you shall not stand because you are a seed of Abraham. In the name of Jesus, I pray that anyone given wrong advice to your destiny helpers is rendered foolish. The word of God says in Michael 2, 1, Walk to him who scheme iniquity and work out evil on their beds. When morning comes, they do it, for it is in the power of their hands. I decree that all the evil counsels of the evil ones made against you and your family is put to null and void in the name of Jesus. Just like the evil pronouncements made by Haman to the children of Israel backfired on him, I decree that all the evil pronouncements made by the evil ones will backfire on them and their negative pronouncements will work in your favor. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be paralyzed by the negative pronouncements of the powers of darkness against you. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I wash away all the negative words people have said to you in the past that is impeding your progress in life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray for you that the Holy Spirit helps you to tame your tongue. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not expose yourself to the wicked ones via your words. One of the worst things that can happen to any man is when he doesn't have a bearing on his life. The devil loves it when people roam about aimlessly like a vagabond. His ultimate goal is to see that God's plan for man does not manifest. You're exempted from this. You can never be distracted because you have the Holy Spirit in you who will always lead, direct and comfort you. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Maximize the authority you have in Christ and put the devil and his minions in their place. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you would never be distracted by the evil ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all evil friends disguised to be good ones sent by the devil to make you distracted are put to shame. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus that you will always do the right thing and at the right time. I also decree over you that you would not waste your time doing things that the Lord didn't send you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the plans of the evil ones to make you confused as touching steps and decisions you should take are put to null and void. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would not leave the will of God for you. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I shield you from the attacks of the devil to make you useless in life. The word of God says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 that there is a time for a purpose under the heaven. I decree over you that you will walk in God's timing for you and the plans of the devil and his agents to make you stray from his timing is annulled in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will not make a costly mistake that will affect your destiny. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not miss the mark God has set for you due to your selfish ambition. I pray for you that you are safe and secured in the secret place of the highest from the prying eyes of the evil ones who want you to be destitute and a nuisance. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all members of your family will not be distracted in their journey to the fulfillment of their destinies. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the enemies who want you to make a costly mistake that will affect your business are put to shame in the name of Jesus.
The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is safe. I pray for you that the name of Jesus will always shield you from distracting people. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will always know the right people to mingle with. That will help you not to be distracted. I pray for you that the word of God would always keep you in check anytime you are straying from God's will for your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all Ahitophel like friends in your life leave you this instant. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will not give attention to the forces of darkness whispering into your ears to leave the original plan of God for your life. In the name of Jesus, I decree that God will always avenge you of all your adversaries who want to distress you. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. I therefore decree over you that all tongues that have sent projections at you to make you lose focus of who you are and where you're going are condemned in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not, you will fulfill your God-given destiny. I decree that the calling and the mandate of God upon your life will be evident for all to see. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Holy Spirit would always keep you in check and your sight is keen like never before. I decree over you that you will not burn out doing things that you are not supposed to do. In the name of Jesus. There is no weapon formed against you that shall prosper. No matter how the enemies come against you, you have this confidence that they will flee before you in seven ways. The greatest weapon at your disposal is discomforting the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. Do not be doubtful when you call upon the name of Jesus because the Bible says in Romans 10, 13, that anyone that calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you know this, you will stand firm in the victory that you have in Christ Jesus. The Bible says in Job 22, 28, that you shall decree a thing on earth and it will be established to you. A light will shine upon your parts. This is the right time to maximize the authority that you have been given when you became a new man in Christ. As I will be making these declarations over your life, Affirm in faith, knowing that you have victory over all the devil's devices. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the weapons of the enemies targeted at you are rendered non-effective. I decree that you are shielded in the hollow of God's hand and you are saved from the attacks of the evil ones. In the name of Jesus, your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. I decree that no bullets of the enemy would get to you because your life is hidden in Christ. I decree that all the types of missionaries of the evil ones used to send projections at you are destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you dwell in the sacred place of the highest and you abide under the shadow of the Almighty. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that confusion is sent to the camp of the enemies who have devised your hurt in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that a thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near thee. I decree that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil for God is with you. His rod and his staff comfort you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the love of God will keep you safe and secured from the devices of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the bullet of fear is shot at you to demoralize you and make you confused and life misses you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the arsenal of evil ones is set ablaze by the Holy Ghost. The Bible says in Exodus 14, 14, that the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I decree that you will no longer lose any battle because the God of vengeance will fight all your battles for you in the name of Jesus. 
I pray for you that you will not be messed up by the weapons of the enemies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the bullets fired at any of your loved ones will not hit the mark. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is saved. I decree that the name of Jesus would always be your hiding place against all the attacks of the wicked ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you would never be bruised and injured by the weapons of the enemies. The Bible says in Psalm 41 verse 2 that the Lord will protect you and keep you alive. You shall be blessed and he will not hand you over to the desire of the enemies. I decree over you that the Lord will protect you for the rest of your life and he will never hand you over to the desire of your enemies in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that the Lord will keep you from the hand of wicked one and he will also preserve you from violent men who have proposed in their hearts to cause you to fall. I decree over you that the Lord will preserve your soul. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will pull you out of the net which they have laid for you and the Lord would always be your strength. I decree that the Lord will bring you out from among your enemies. He will lift you up above those who rise against you and he will also rescue you from the violent men. I decree that the Lord would hide you from the secret counsel of evildoers and from the turmoil of those who do iniquity. I pray for you that you will not be turned by the teeth of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. As believers, we are positioned to flourish and experience breakthrough in all areas of our life because Jesus became poor so that we will be rich. He paid the price for our breakthrough completely on the cross. The only thing left now is for you to walk in the breakthrough from struggles he has made available for you. Remember that a new man or woman in Christ does not have to toil and sweat hard before he or she succeeds. The toiling and sweating hard died with your old man. Tell yourself this. I am positioned for a breakthrough. I never labor hard and get little results. I flourish like the tree planted by the riverside. As we will be making these prayers together, do it in faith knowing that you will get an answer to all of them. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not labor hard in vain and then another man eat of it. I decree over you the struggles have ended in your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that there is no wasted effort for you. I decree that you will experience the breakthrough of the Lord in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all your efforts will never fall to the ground. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the resurrection power rests on everything dead in your life. I decree that all your dreams, visions and goals receive the breath of God and they come to life in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will overcome all obstacles on your path to greatness. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the spirit of the Midianites, the steel, harvest is bound and cast into the Hades. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you'll be a tree planted by the riverside whose leaves are evergreen and produces its fruit in due season. I decree that you will not be impatient and miss your day of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the powers of darkness that are withstanding your breakthrough financially are scattered in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 that you will be head and not the tail. I decree that you are the head in all facets of life. You are never behind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree 
decree that you will never be behind shadow and ahead of your time. You will walk in God's perfect timing for you. I decree that all the resources that are needed for your breakthrough to manifest are provided now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your God-ordained helper heart is troubled until he helps you just like the way the heart of Azarus was troubled in the case of Mordecai and he caused a change in Mordecai's story. I decree that you will not beg for men to help you. You will attract the favor of men to your side because you are shielded with favor in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all the members of your family will walk in breakthrough and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that an end has come to struggles, pain, shame and disgrace in your life and family. I speak peace to every storm raging in your family and your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all you need to fulfill destiny are provided for. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will always see possibilities even when others are seeing impossibilities. I decree that you will receive a divine idea that will turn your financial story around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that wherever you have been rejected, you will be accepted because you are accepted in the beloved. I pray for you that you will not leave the path to your breakthrough due to wrong counsel in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will know the will of God for your life per season and time. By the power in the name of Jesus, I release the angel of your breakthrough and prosperity. I put them to work this instant. I decree that they will cause money and resources to come to you. I decree that you will not be confused at touching the kind of business and skill to engage that will cause a major breakthrough in your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the years you have lost and all resources that were stolen from you are restored to you in a hundredfold. Let us begin to thank God for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I urge you to drop your prayer requests and testimonies in the comment section. God bless you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.